Hi, I'm Meg from ITU Stamping and welcome to this PDQ paper crafting tip. Today we are going to be talking about how to not only make your own envelopes for your handmade cards, but we're also gonna talk about how you can easily make a cute custom liner to go along with it. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to be making an envelope to go along with this cute card right here. So I went ahead and just picked a color out of this color palette and I went with Tempting Turquoise. This is a standard A2 card, meaning it is four and a quarter by five and a half at its finished size. So all I wanna do is grab my envelope punch board and I'll put the link on where you can get your own envelope punch board in the description below this video if you're watching on YouTube. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take out my scoring blade and there's a couple things you need to know real quick about your punch board. You can make it for all these different sizes, but you also need to know there's two punches underneath this one button, one on this side and one on this side. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So to begin, we needed a piece of cardstock that's going to be eight by eight, and the only measurement we need to know at the beginning is three and a half inches. So because I use this size more than anything else, let me show you what is normally sitting on my envelope punch board, and that would be a post-it note. I cannot craft without post-it notes. I really can't. They are to me one of the best tools you could ever use. So I normally have this post-it sitting right here so that I don't have to go back. Yes, sometimes I make these other measurements, but nine times out of 10, this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start by lining up my cardstock at that three and a half inch mark, and I'm going to punch. Then I'm gonna take the scoring tool, and I'm just gonna go right on this score line that's right here. Then we're gonna take it and turn it, and this little divot is gonna go into the score line that we made and I'm gonna punch. See, I didn't have to measure that time at all. I'm gonna do the same thing, rotate it 90 degrees, line up my this little guy with my score line. We're gonna punch, and we're gonna score, and I have a feeling you know what's coming next. Line it up, punch, and score. All right, then we're going to work with the back side of our punch, and this, I will tell you, is my favorite corner rounder punch. So we're gonna do all four of these sides, but I use this corner rounder on card making and everything else. I don't just keep it in a drawer until I'm ready to make an envelope. Okay, so we have this. I'm gonna fold and use the, the scoring tool that comes with it to get me some nice crisp edges. And there we go. Okay, then we're going to turn our attention to a scrap piece of pattern paper. So this is going to be four and one eighth by four and one eighth, and it was sitting in a bin that I had, but it's gonna match perfect with this, and it's going to look great with my envelope. This is a great little coordination right here, right? Okay, now I'm gonna take this, and now I would probably move my post-it because I need to pay attention to the four inch line. Okay, so I have it at four inches, and I'm going to punch. Now I need this opposite corner punched, and so I'm going to flip it and punch. All right, so we have that. Now, because I can often forget which side to round, it doesn't hurt to do both of them, and then you don't have to keep up with it. All right, so we have this. Now we're ready to move this out of the way, and then we have what I call punch poop. And so we're gonna move all of our punch poop out of the way, and then we're just gonna grab our adhesive. You're gonna wanna use a stronger adhesive, like, um, well, sticky strip or tear tape, fast fuse works great too. And I'm going to put adhesive on my bottom flap. There we go, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it up. All right, now for this piece, I'm gonna put adhesive on the top section. Not gonna worry about it on the bottom section. But now I can slide this into my envelope, get it nice and lined up, and then press down. When I go to fold this over, that's when I'll get the fold in my pattern paper. But we don't wanna tack down that bottom part because as we open and close our envelope, that bottom section is going to move. Okay, so look at our cute little envelope. Let's tuck our card inside. And ta-da! 
We have a custom envelope. We can decorate it, we can stamp it, we can do whatever we want. And then we have it where it matches our card and it's just paper crafting heaven right there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick paper crafting tip on not only how to make your own custom envelopes, but also an easy way to make your own custom liner for it using the same exact tool that we use to make our envelope. So if you have any questions, please leave them below the video. And if you like this PDQ paper crafting tip and you want to see more like it, please hit the like button because that's how I'm going to know. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.